Welcome everyone to this video. Today we will be testing Hitman Pro. And if we scroll down here just a little bit, we can see that there is a standard edition, but there's also Hitman Pro Alert. It has the same cleaning features as the standard edition, but right here we can see that the alert version does have real-time protection. So we're going to be testing this today. I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 460 samples in total, and we will be using these samples to see how well Hitman Pro Alert does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. We now have Hitman Pro Alert up on the screen and there's not a whole lot of options here. We can see that there is an advanced interface, a little more granular, a little more specific, but overall fairly simplistic. We're just gonna stick with the standard for now. And these are the settings we are currently using. Right now it's saying you are at risk. So let's go ahead and scan the computer. Before we do that, let's just double check to see if there's any updates needed. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead and scan this computer. And we will let this scan run until it's fully completed. Alrighty, the scan has completed and it looks like it found quite a bit. I did notice on some it failed to upload to the cloud. So we're going to go ahead and quarantine and clear what it did find. And then I'm going to run a second scan to give it another chance to detect these. We'll go ahead and click on next. A restart was requested. So we went ahead and restarted and we are down to 27 samples. And so we're going to run one more scan, just to give it one more try. And again, we'll let this run until it's fully completed. The second scan completed and it found more results. So we'll go ahead and click on next and then next and then close. Under the advanced interface, if we come over here to the malware section, we can see that we do have real-time protection enabled. So we're going to go ahead and execute the remaining 19 samples and see how it does. Alrighty, all 19 remaining samples have been executed. I did see it pop up a couple times saying that it was blocking at least a couple, but nothing showing up in blocked items. So just for good measure, we're going to give it one last shot. We're just going to run one last scan, giving it every chance here or opportunity to detect everything. Again, I'll let this run until it's fully completed. The third scan has completed and it did find some results. I don't think any of these are gonna remove the actual executable file in the samples folder, but let's go ahead and hit next. At this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer again and then run some second opinion scans. And also please note there are still 19 samples remaining in the samples folder. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, came back with 16 results, so we'll go ahead and get these all quarantined. Also ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. Please be aware that after all of that, there were still five samples remaining, so I uploaded them to Virus Total, and this is the result for the first one, second one, third, fourth, and fifth. Additionally, there are a lot of features outside of just the real-time protection that you might be interested in, so they're definitely worth checking out. But regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions. But keep in mind that this is just one type of test. Hitman Pro Alert may perform differently in other types of tests. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.